Right. So it's a major problem on this planet, this fear of emotion. A major problem. And the, the interesting thing is once you get through it, you know you can deal with anything. Right? You know you can handle anything that comes your way. And that, you know, you think about it, that gives you a lot of confidence, doesn't it? If you knew that, it would give you a lot of confidence about your future if you knew that you can handle anything and that, and particularly with God's help you can handle everything right but most of us don't even get to trust God to that limit to that length because we're because we're so stuck on this concept that we have that we've got to avoid emotional pain at all costs so the soul how do we get the question then becomes how do we get the soul away from thinking that it has to avoid all pain <laughs> it's obviously a feeling in our soul we, we've got to do something don't we to 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 have this soul change inside of us so that we're no longer wishing to avoid pain now what usually naturally happens is that the pain builds and pain builds and pain builds and pain builds until the pain, we no longer can cope with the emotional pain itself and then we surrender. That's normally the process that happens. It doesn't have to happen that way, but that's normally the process that happens. So you remember when we channeled uh, verses like Glenn, he said he went through this place where he's numb for years and years and then he became frustrated and angry and he'd get exhausted going through that process as well. And eventually he got to just surrender to some tears once because the pain of where he was at up until that point was so bad that he just finished up surrendering to his tears. And then, then he realised that's when he made some real shift. Right? Now that, that is how the average person gets to feel emotion. Now for many of you, even after this discussion, it's going to be after you've died that you'll go through that experience because you're not choosing to go through it now and you're still in a lot of resistance to choo choosing it. You follow? What I would like to see is that you don't wait till then, but you go through it now. You go through the experience now. But but most of you don't want to and this is an issue of your will so so the alternative then what's the alternative to that so, so that's the way it happens for pretty much most people that's the way it happened for me to be frank like I got to a point where everything in my life was pretty much destroyed right and I had a choice of either dying or deciding to change right and then I decided, well, you know, if it was up to me and I probably didn't have children, I probably would have chose to die. That's how much I was avoiding my emotions. But because I had two boys, I decided, well, I can't die and leave them with the thought of that they might be partially responsible for my death. Right? So I had to do something about it so that I could live. And that meant choosing to live properly. And so I had to make a, sw a switch, a choice, a different choice. And the moment I made a different choice, I started taking action. I started, like, so, I, so I went to get, do body work therapy so that I'd release some emotion. And every time I went there, I'd, I'd be allowance of the emotion and the emotion would release. So, uh, so I got a bit of help initially so, that pe so I couldn't fool myself with my mind and tell myself what things were and the body work helped me get through that process and then once I got to the point where I was no longer fooling myself with my mind about what was really inside of me then the stuff just started coming out by myself I didn't need anybody else after that doing that for me you follow and and the question becomes well when when are you going to do it well are you going to wait like I did until your whole life's a pretty much a mess and for many of you that with the level of control you have currently of your life that probably isn't going to happen until after you die does that make sense with the level of control you currently exert over your current life it's probably unlikely for many of you that you'll go through my experience because many of you f have your life with a, under a semblance of control and you probably, given the, given the fact that most of you still desire this control, are probably going to maintain that control until you pass. 
But after you pass, you're going to find that you've got far less control over all of your life. Right? So that, that's one option. What's the other option? <laughs> yeah, the other option, obviously, is to help do everything you possibly can. Right now, from now on, do everything you possibly can to help your soul change this decision it's made. You, can you see? That's the problem. The problem is the decision to avoid pain at all costs. That's, that's the decision we've made. And, and we need to do things to engage a process that will help the soul get beyond that point. Right? And there's all sorts of things you can do to do that. You can, by educating yourself, reading things, like reading about emotion, reading about the emotional experiences, how healing occurs, and so forth. And you can, you can you know, there's so many things that you could do. I, I, I don't know, during that phase, I read so many books. I, can, I can't even remember how many of them there are now, because I, I read one every day or two, like for nearly two years. Of all, all about emotions and emotional expression, emotional experience, feeling your desires and passions and all those kind of things. And, and I got to the point where I was convinced internally that, that the right thing to do was to experience my pain rather than avoid it. I had to educate myself. And this is what I feel you need to do. You need to educate yourself so that this particular attitude of the soul no longer exists inside of you. Avoid pain at all costs, which is the current attitude that is inside the majority of you. That is the attitude that needs to change. If that attitude changes and all of a sudden you, you're feeling like, wow, I can experience pain and pain is going to, experiencing my pain will heal me and you're convinced in the, about that in your heart, can you see that's going to change quite a lot of things in terms of how you experience emotion, isn't it? Yeah, so Lani? <clears throat> so is what you're saying, is it like you read so many books and you just sort of overwhelmed yourself with all this desire to do this so that no, my desire, uh, or my my feelings are desire grows over a period of time based on what you educate yourself on. Do you, you follow yeah. what I mean by that? Yeah. So, so if I educate myself on in the truth and the, about how God made our the, the human soul, then then eventually I'll come to see the, how important dealing with my emotions are. Now, if I don't do that education, I will come to convince myself that emotions are completely unnecessary in order to have a connection with God. And when, as soon as you get to that point, you're lost. Yeah. right? And there's many people I've talked to in the last eight years who are now lost because they believe that emotional processing is unnecessary. right? Yeah. And I'm saying to you, no, sorry, Emo love is an emotion. It has to flow for you to feel it. And you won't feel love flow unless you can feel all of your emotions flow. So, so it's, it's a very important thing to choose to do to get away from this th cycle of just avoiding pain and avoiding past pain even. The majority of us are not even just choosing to avoid our current you know, situations that may cause pain. We're avoiding our pain from when we were two, three, four, five, six, you know, all those formative years of pain that occurred, most of us are choosing to avoid it, right? And, and that underlying choice that we're making at the soul level can only be triggered by two things. One is that your life gets so terrible that it, and, and so out of control that you finish up dealing with it. Now, as I say, if, if the majority of you leave that decision to when that happens, that'll be after you've passed, right? And that's why, for the majority of people, it is after they've passed that, they, that that decision is made. The second choice is educate your soul differently. Allow yourself to see the importance of letting go of past pain and the healing effect of it. Look at all of the studies that have been done about it, all of the different 
you know, th there's been thousands of studies on this planet about it, right? There, you, like there's even the, there's, is, there's studies on cancer, for example, where they've realised that if they process anger and childhood resentment, that most that there's a there's a doctor in Germany who's who who heals 90% of cancer without actually giving them any drugs at all, and all he does is help them go through the rage and, and resentment and the addiction-based interactions they have with their family members. That's all he does. And you look at these studies, and you and in the end you'll be convinced, right? You'll be convinced that avoiding pain is actually detrimental to your health. So this really needs to be number one priority and to, you know, in our lives if we really want to change. I don't think it needs to be number one, no. Right? Number one is faith. Number two, truth. Number three, take action. Number four, let yourself feel your emotion. You follow? But, but without feeling your emotion, no change is possible. Just like without receiving truth, no change is possible. Without having faith, no change is possible. And without taking actions, no change is possible. Right.